if I may continue, um, uh, my girlfriend is a uh, big fan of yours, and she recommended that I read the book Anger, and it's something that I've done to maybe uh, cope better with her stress and work better uh, as a couple. So I was curious to know personally if you could just share some insights for me to help me w work better through uh, our challenges. Well, anger is, can be a healthy emotion if you release it and move on. But hostility is actually a risk factor for cardiovascular illness and even for sudden death. So there's a difference between anger, which is justified and a, a, as a release of energy. Um, with any emotional toxin, and this includes hostility, guilt, uh, depression, uh, jealousy, you need to first become aware that you have it. So you have to take responsibility for it. It's your emotion, nobody else's fault. Then you have to learn how to witness it in your body. You have to learn how to label it, share it with those that you trust, release it through rituals because they bring a closure, ultimately move on and celebrate the release. So those are the seven steps to dealing with any unhealthy or toxic emotion, whether it's guilt or fear or anxiety or resentment. And those seven steps are once again responsibility, witnessing it, labeling it, expressing it, releasing it, uh, celebrating the release. All right, and, and how about uh, coping with someone else's um, stress and anger? What is the best way to deal with that? The best way to deal with other people's stress is through your own self-awareness. You, it's hard enough for you to change when you want to change, to expect somebody else to change so that you feel better is being a little unrealistic. So don't try to change others. All right, well, uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate your time. You uh, made my week, I appreciate it. Thank you, Paul. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.